The War of Currents was primarily a corporate and industrial battle between George Westinghouse, backing AC, and Thomas Edison, backing DC. Nikola Tesla was the brilliant inventor whose technology gave Westinghouse the weapon he needed to win. George Westinghouse was an industrial titan in his own right, having already invented the railway air brake. When he entered the electricity market, he realized that Edison's direct current DC system was flawed because it could not transmit power over long distances. Westinghouse saw the potential in alternating current, which could step up voltages for long distance travel. He became Edison's direct commercial threat, selling a system that was cheaper and more efficient than Edison's. Westinghouse essentially armed himself with Tesla's genius. He bought Tesla's AC patents for a massive sum, approximately $60,000 cash plus stock and royalties, and hired Tesla as a consultant to help implement the systems. This period, roughly late 1880s to 1890s, was defined by a dirty propaganda war led by Edison specifically to destroy Westinghouse. Edison tried to associate Westinghouse's AC power with death. He staged public demonstrations where he electrocuted animals, stray dogs, and famously Topsy the elephant, using AC power to prove it was unsafe. Edison secretly funded the development of the first electric chair using Westinghouse's AC generators. His goal was to make the public use the term Westinghousing as a synonym for execution by electrocution, hoping it would ruin the Westinghouse brand. One of the most famous moments in the relationship between Tesla and Westinghouse occurred when the War of Currents was bankrupting the Westinghouse Electric Company. Investors pressured Westinghouse to get rid of the royalty contract he had signed with Tesla, which paid Tesla for every horsepower of electricity sold. In a gesture of immense loyalty and belief in the mission, Tesla tore up the contract. He walked away from millions of dollars in future royalties so that Westinghouse's company could survive and continue to fund the battle against Edison. Westinghouse and Tesla ultimately won the war. In the 1893 Chicago World's Fair, Westinghouse underbid Edison, technically General Electric by then, to light the fair, dazzling the world with the safety and brilliance of AC power. Westinghouse won the contract to build the first major hydroelectric power plant at Niagara Falls, which effectively set AC as the standard for the global power grid we use today. 